wouldn't think these learners are in a science class now, would you? Poor schools often have to rely on a blackboard and chalk to teach science, a practice that often leaves many learners feeling indifferent and apathetic about the subject. SciFest Africa of 2009 brought a new dimension to the way science is taught in schools. Ashok Ratna came from India to share his knowledge in this field. Especially the uh, situation of the rural schools in India is very, very backward. Most of the school teachers, they teach science through this blackboard and chalk piece method, just lecture method. So what we uh, thought, ki we should start activities with help of the throwaway material. Even that material get break, there is no any problem. Then what do we have to do? We just bend it and make a triangle like say. of the toys, we can break it and we can make it. It is very, very humble material, which is commonly available material. While Ashok's toys are certainly fun, they are also educational and rely on scientific principles to work. The levitating pencil, for instance, relies on the attracting and opposing properties of magnets. The principle behind the straw wave is very nice. Uh, this uh, straw wave uh, is very nice to show the properties of the waves. Uh, now you just hold two ends tightly and give one pulse. The energy goes from one point to another point. Now suppose if you give one twist to this uh, model, you can see there is upper part. Upper part we called as a crest and there is a lower part that is called as a trough. Now distance between any successive crest is we called as a wavelength. Now suppose if you given the more twist, wavelength will get reduced but number of waves increases means actually frequency increases. The, there is a direct relation between frequency and wavelength is if you increase the frequency, wavelength will get reduced. Uh, the poor schools, they don't have the infrastructure. And this is sharing the knowledge basically. We decided to bring Ashok to Tabo Maria to see how he interacts with real learners in a real school environment. And we have him here with us today. So how do you feel, Ashok? It is very nice to see me the this Grahamstown school also. And uh, it is also a very enjoyable moment for me also to see the one school in the Grahamstown. And what I am doing now, with help of this uh, refill, I am rubbing this refill on the notches. Can you see your notches? Yes. yes. Notches over here on the pencil. Yes. And then what I am doing now, just I am rubbing this uh, refill. Oh. Now what is happening now over here? Yes. Very nice. Exciting experiment. Yes. So, keep all straws in your pocket and your hands should be free like this. You just cut. <coughs> This top end. Okay, and do you think it went well today? Yes, definitely it will be well, uh, uh, well today. But I want to see the enjoyment of this uh, student. We don't have uh, a science lab in Taba Maria, unfortunately. I, I, I learned that there's no use to like buy toys. You can make your own toy. Okay, and are you guys going we to do We wanted to find out if yes. it really is that easy for schools and learners to find these materials without having to spend any money. We then asked local stores around Grahamstown for their help. The resources they had collected was then taken to in Tabo Maria so that they can experiment some more. This is going to be very, very helpful to us and to the kids, yeah. and it's also encouraging. Thanks to the SciFest Africa initiative, people like Ashok have the opportunity to share their knowledge with us. And with a little bit of creativity and ingenuity, science is not exclusive to men in white lab coats. This is Michelle Solomon from SciTV, Grahamstown.